Right now, golf, which makes its debut at the Olympics this year and a masterclass in the short game from Thomas Bjorn. In order to be a successful golfer, a player must master two different aspects of gameplay. The long game, where power is key to driving the ball over distance, and the short game, where precision takes precedent. Denmark's most successful golfer, Thomas Bjorn, is a player known for his finesse and accuracy in the short game. Well, the short game in golf is, first of all, something that's very overcomplicated by a lot of people, I think. You know, people seem to find it extremely difficult to, to get consistent at. If you're great in your long game, you get yourself in positions where you can shoot a number. But if you have a great short game, you can always get yourself out of trouble. I don't think any golfer would want to go out and say, well, I wish my short game is great today, because you wish that you can hit the ball exactly where you want to hit it and then don't have to use your short game. But golf is not like that. So it's a nice thing to have with you that when things are not going right, you've got something that you can rely on. Here, Bjorn gives us insight into the demands of the short game's different components. Chipping and pitching is it's not that complicated. It really is only a shoulder move. But when I get over the ball, all I really think about is keeping my wrists as still as I can and only make a movement in my shoulder. When you get in a bunker, the one thing that you've got to understand is you're never supposed to hit the golf ball. You're actually hitting the club into the sand and the action of the sand moving is what carries the ball out of the bunker. But the most important thing when you're in bunkers is that you get into a position where you can consistently enter the sand in the correct way. So what I do is I get in a bunker, I get a lot of weight down in my legs, get quite wide in my legs as well to create a base where I can enter the sand the correct way. We are now on the putting green where the money is made. Uh, golf is very much about doing this correctly. No matter how good you are, you can save a lot on the green. Uh, I think people overcomplicate the technique in putting. They become very much focused on how to do it instead of what they're trying to do. So when I'm getting to a putt, I get down behind and obviously get a really good idea of what the line is. And when I then get up, all I do is I look at the ball, I look at the hole, and I try and visualize a line that the putt is going to go. And as I step into the putt, I always have that line in my head. I get in over the ball and I look down that line that I want to hit it on. I aim my putter at the left edge of the hole and then I just hit it. I think anytime you win, there's always certain things that stand out uh, through that tournament. And funnily enough, when you look back at it, it's very often a putt that kind of made it all swing. You won't win if you don't putt well. So position is it's extremely important in golf. It's always on margin. So the more precise you can be, the better you are. 